Can you speak to Big and him holding down the family as well, though, man, and just keeping the party going? Man, Big, a lot of people don't know, but Big, man, is is one of the most sweetest, greatest souls you ever want to meet, man. This guy will bend over backwards for anybody in his family, man. And he wanted to make sure that we, like he, Big used to fight for me all the time. Like on the way you move, LA wanted to put Usher on there instead Ooh. of me. Big told him, now nah, keep him sleepy on them. Damn right. You feel what I'm saying? Big has always had my back. So when we were talking about doing this group and I saw him more excited than I was, I knew it was gonna be special. Yeah. Cause it it, 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 it sparked something in him again. You know, mm. I, I know Big loves to be a solo artist and everything like that, but I know he misses his brother Dre. Yeah. I know he misses those times being on stage. Cause that's how, man, them brothers, they came to us when they were 16, 17, man. They came out as kids, you know what I'm saying? They didn't come out like in their late 20s. They yeah. came out as kids. So, you know, it's little, little brother missing little brother. So I know this group kind of fills that hole a little bit. Yeah. Not all the way, but just a little bit to know that he got somebody up there that got his back. And yeah. Having, and got his back and we having fun and we ain't gonna let nobody destroy what we got. You know come what I'm on. saying? Because we got that kind of bond, so. You know, I know for B, when I saw him get more excited than I did, because I was super excited about this shit. <laughs> I'm like, thank you, bro. Thank you for helping my old ass. I appreciate this. I need this, bro, bro. Let's get it. But he was like, shit, I got you. Like, let's go. Yeah. So, you know, and he, you know, he, he's he been on it so hard as far as promoting it. And, bro, my, my little brother pushing it, bro. I love yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, I mean, but the album is jamming like a mug, though, too, Appreciate man. That's Appreciate the thing that's so crazy about it. It's some of that music that we've been waiting on. So when you but hear it, it was it easy to good. do. It was easy to do because it's me and him. You okay. know what I'm saying? Like we know from doing from doing it so many years, we we can't help but do them kind of songs. Uh, you know what I mean? And it all started when we first did Claiming True because Claiming yeah. True. That's when I really found out how super dope he was as a writer. Damn, now, he wrote that hook, and I'm like. I looked at him like, okay, okay, little bro. You know, so my, my respect for him went up even higher when yeah. he wrote Ain't No Thing. When he when he stung, sung that to me, I was like, yeah, okay. So, <laughs> you know, both of us, we just, we're, we're a matching spirit, man. Both of us Aquarius. And you know what I'm saying? We're, we're, we connect so well when it comes to music because we're weirdos. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we are, man, Aquarius, we are some weird brothers. Yeah. So. You know, I, I, that's how. That's why I feel like it works so well. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Because big, I can play a beat for big, bigger feel it. Like we'll do some stuff sometimes. It's, it's some songs that didn't make the album. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That I felt like would have been more special for him. Yeah, because he got a record that that's gonna take him when he drops. Once he gets ready to do his next solo album, he has a record that is just fucking insane. It's gonna kill the world. Oh my god! But I felt like that was special for him. Yeah, you know what I mean. And so with this album, man, the songs that we do have, you know, we, we, we really made sure that they were jamming. We really, we didn't just jump on something just because somebody gave us a beat. Yeah. But you know, we got a chance to work with 1500, those guys, Point Guard, yeah. 1500, KI, uh, really dope artists. Um, you know, just everybody, you know, Kill on the Mic. Yeah. And, uh, Scotty, Scotty ATL. ATL, my what boy. up, though, Scotty? Yes, sir. Scotty yeah. on, the, on, the, on the record. He on a cold, cold, sexy record called Do Your Best For Me. <laughs> All right, now, Scotty. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, you know, it, it that that album, you know, we we, we just, we made sure it was jamming, man. And, um, oh, big shout out to uh, It's Cows that did the record Animal. Mm hmm. And, uh, yeah, we just, we, we, pick, we pick each record and we just made sure that it was like, okay. We, Cause we knew we couldn't make no young young album. It was yeah. sounded crazy. Was trying to do that, but see, it's OG music, man. Exactly, exactly. That's all I've been screaming the whole time. That's what the streets need. That's the new genre of music. It is OG music. We got right. OG Kush. Can we get the music Can to go we get with the it, music please? Go with it. Yeah, they just My call. God. You know what they call it? They call it grown rap. Yeah, that's what they call it. Grown <laughs> see, that ain't rap. sexy though. Contem that ain't sexy. That ain't sexy. Contemporary rap. That's what no. you might want to call it. But you're right. OG music. Come it on. It should be called OG. It should be.